Welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video, everyone. And today, oh, today we are going to see how many thermites can actually kill one of these striders, aka ATATs, aka factory walkers, whatever you want to call it, potato, potato. Now, the cool thing about this, we are going to be doing it on a solo Helldive mission. So, you already know we're going to see at least two or three, four, five, maybe ten, since the spawns on this mode are crazy. So, first and foremost, let's go ahead and just go ahead and dispose of these. I typically actually like using the Eruptor, because as you see right here, I just knocked four of those babies out with one shot. That just tells you how explosive this is. Now my plan is right now, we're going to go around this cliff because there's one special spot that I like to show everyone or like to show all of you right now how to pretty much stay safe without sacrificing a death to get up here. So what you're going to have to do, like I said, make your way across. You're going to see a few bots on this side, so caveat emptor. So now that we're running across, there's going to be a small crack. And by this crack, you're just going to jump up and then jump up here and then to this rock to the left, aim your doohickey, aim your hell diver, and then quickly turn to the right. And then that allows you to get up over this. Now, beforehand, I used to always just try to land up here with the hell pod, but I recently discovered I can actually sneak across by just spamming, you know, the um, vault button, whatever you want to call it, jump. And sometimes, it really just depends on the game. You can actually call stratagems up here for some reason. Like I said, it's a swing or miss. You can either call a few of them up or none of them up. But either way, that's how this cookie is going to crumble with this map's seed. As you see here, we have an orbital laser, eagle pods, as well as a 500 kg. The laser is really clutch, mostly towards in-game you're doing these types of missions, especially if you're on this area, because a lot of them tend to just pack around and just hoard on top of each other like a bunch of zombies. See here right now we're just doing some damage control as we await for all of these walkers to come in. They usually, yep, as you see right there, one is in. So the goal now too is basically just get rid of the bots and just increase this kill rate. And then we're going to actually use this cool little thermite, I guess, methodology that is the whole reason why we're going to test this. We have one stem, so we're actually going to have to make this last as long as we can. Which I believe we can if we're smart with how we play, but like I said, with Helldive, ain't nothing smart. No matter how smart you are, Albert Einstein, can you just get out alive? But basically what we're going to do now is with our thermites, we're going to throw them all out except one. And then before we get to your last one, you're going to double tap your stratagem button and then just keep throwing. And that essentially allows your guy to keep pulling them out of this infinite top hat. Ooh, okay. That cannon on the top is actually pretty a beast. Let's see, we got three on them so far. So I'm just going to run back here and get on our spot. We're going to save as many deaths as we can. Like I said, the crack, go to the left, quickly go to the right, and you're able to run back on top of the boulder. So now, let's go ahead, see, uh, we could call an eagle in. Let's go and do our thermite right now. Let's go ahead and thermite all this up. We got seven on them. Yeah, those cannons are no joke. Actually six on them because it looks like that one bounced off. All right, so let's go back to where we were at. Let's keep throwing. Let's just add two, three, four more, five, six, a seven. Let's see, oh, we have t another one. Two more. Let's see, eight. All right, so that one is eight right now. We are currently on eight thermite. Let's see, is he still going? Okay, I guess that one isn't out. So we got 12 on the other one. Alright, so we're gonna keep throwing. This one's actually a strong boy. The turret on the top is the first to go. Oh my god. 
gosh, there's so many explosions. <laughs> Honestly reminds me of the 4th of July, just hearing the sounds like fireworks. Yeah, these guys take a ton. All right, let's count for this next one. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Juke, oh my god. So far it's at 24. Then we got two behind it. Three behind it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fifteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31. So that one was 31. Thirty-one. So if the first one was about 21, 22, the second one was about 24, or it's still alive if I'm not mistaken. Is it still standing? Oh no, it's out. So it's like 22, 24, and 31. It's actually insane if you think about it. So if, let's just say you have four players and everyone starts out with max like four each, you know, 16. You would need at least, you know, two other players to get a complete resupply just to take out one of these bad boys on average. It's actually insane if you really think about it. I mean, it's kind of similar though to the Bile Titans, which I'll probably make that another video of itself as to how strong those are. But from what I remember when I did my little video on the Unlimited Thermite, the Bile Titans took about 26 to 28. So it seems like they have some similar health, even though they're different, obviously complete entities. But it seems like the health system is very similar. Like I said, we'll tell it. We'll test that for another video. All right, damn, we're already at ninety-six percent. Like I said, <laughs> that laser is an absolute godsend plate game, especially when you have a bunch of them piled together. Only thing is, though, it kind of sucks if you have a bunch of tanks because those actually take up a bunch of time for it to dispose of, rather than just a bunch of those little tiny, like scavenger hunter, like weaklings. You literally can't see anything right now. Let's see, let's come over here. We might be able to take some out with our Eruptor. Let's see. Oh my god, we have no more stems either. Let's see. Let's pop that one. Let's see, uh, those are Hulks. No point in trying to shoot really those. Let's see. Those are the missile boys. Oh geez, we got a tank behind us too. I could really use a resupply, but let's see what this eagle pod actually does. It should get rid of maybe one or two of these hulks, maybe or maybe one. Let's see. Oh my God, we might actually die right here. Although wait, we have, no, we have three reinforcements left. We're at literally 98%. It feels like we're at a wall. Literally. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, we wouldn't have survived that anyway. <laughs> that cannon? No. No Daguna Monero. Let's go back up here. Alright. We just need two more percent. Oh my god. Yep, we have another one of these big boys coming. This is what, number four or five, I believe, this match? Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. No shot. He shot through the rock. 
<laughs> There's just no freaking way. That's one thing I love about this game, though, is just its unpredictability. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's kind of comical when you see, like, this right now. He's literally going through a freaking boulder or a cliff, but either way, let's just keep going hammering this one boy. Oh my gosh, that had to be across the map. Alright, let's come back here. We're, I believe, six? On this um, other big boy, AT AT. Let's see. He has taken a good bit of damage too. In the meantime, jeez, there's all this fire. All right, all my stuff has a pretty good bit to cool down. Might just go ahead and just throw some thermite on it and just see where we get. Let's see. Yeah, it's like six seconds. Eh, let's just keep throwing some thermite on it. Oh, he's literally right there. <laughs> oh my god. It's sort of like 15, 16, 17. Hey, we... What? what? <laughs> no shot, but I'll take it. I will take it. But looking at all of these, it pretty much seems that on average it would take between, I'd say about 23, 24 of your thermite to just really dispose of these bad boys, which it's actually a ton. But one of my favorite things is they actually stick to them. So it's pretty fun, a little fun addition. But thank you all for watching. I sure hope this fun thing helps and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next one.